Here I am in the Elite Dangerous Premium Beta. I'm sure some of you are saying, why on earth have you paid £100 for beta access? Well, I've only paid £30 for beta access. To put it simply, the game, when it's finally released, will be £35. And the expansion pass will also cost £35. And because of what I've seen on YouTube videos and what I've followed in the forums, you know, it, this is a game that I do intend to buy. Now you take that £70 away from the £100 and the beta has essentially cost me £30. Now I have a very simple cost entertainment ratio and it works out at about £4 per hour and yes this is related. Um, so I just need to find at least seven and a half hours of entertainment from this beta and one week after purchase I have surpassed that milestone. This is a beta so there are problems and occasional crashes but that's all part and parcel of beta testing. Overall it is, at least for me, a reasonably stable experience so far. The beta at the moment has only got a few star systems open and that's kind of understandable because they want to stress test and observe a, a high concentration of players interacting with each other etc. The only single player experience on this beta is several combat training missions. I'm using a 360 controller as normal, a track IR and also playing about with a little piece of software called Voice Attack. Now on the 360 controller uh, it's working out quite well. That, now they are meant to have default um, control layouts for different devices and that doesn't seem to have passed through into this beta version for some reason or other they are aware of it but that said you know it took me a little time but um, I eventually set up my 360 controller and I've got a very nice feel to it, it just feels right to me. So it's in that respect it's been a good experience because I don't know how much the default um, layout might have influenced um, too much my choices. Track IR, I've got Track IR version 4 and it was a little bit awkward to get it started going but um, not too bad and uh, it's quite good um, you'll see my head zooming all over the place but uh, that's part and parcel of using track IR voice attack is a a nice piece of software that a lot of people are starting to use basically you can assign a keystroke to a verbal command so for example um, the keystroke for deploying your weapons you can actually um, say the word deploy and the weapons will sort of go hot or, or whatever as a couple of YouTube vi videos sh people showing them using it it's a very nice uh, piece of software it's very cheap it's only about £4.77 I've downloaded the 21 day trial version and I'm going to give that a whirl and uh, see if I feel comfortable with using it. You can obviously use it for other games and things but um, I'll see how that goes. People with previous experience of Elite will certainly see a lot in this that is familiar. Um, that said there is an awful lot of additional features planned including things like landing on planets though I believe that particular aspect will be part of an expansion. Um, certainly we have been promised the ability to explore the whole of the Milky Way. Now that to one side. 
combat, trade, the ships, weapons and dying mechanic. Um, that's all very similar to what we've had before in Elite games. But that doesn't mean they are just copied from the old games. They are enriching those experiences. Uh, as to ship controls and systems, they've got a good breadth and depth without being, in my opinion, too complex. At first, things like the ship panels can appear to be a little bit awkward to manipulate, but you do get used to them very quickly. Now, there are three modes of travel. The first is the slowest, and you use this to approach space stations and for combat. The second is referred to as super cruise, and it's used to travel quickly um, within a star system between planets. Thirdly, you have obviously hyperdrive, which is what you use to travel from one star system to another. Now, some of the current imagery and effects for these travel modes are more or less placeholders and could change in the future to what and how not too sure there is a little bit buggy when you're coming out of these modes as well sometimes but i think that's down to the instances you're entering and the number of people that might be there would just like to mention docking here um, in the original games, I was never great at it, and or combat for that matter. Um, I always bought, as quickly as possible, a, a docking computer for my own and my ship's safety. Uh, in this game, I am finding docking easier. It's still tricky, but I feel more confident. Now, this could be down to a more refined feeling of control with modern PCs and, and controllers compared to what we used to have on BBC Micro or Commodore 64, whichever you used. I don't know, but it, it just feels more, more com comfortable. There are a lot of very good videos on YouTube, and if you have any doubts when this game comes to finally be released, I'd, I too strongly recommend looking at those. Um, it's not just people being enthusiastic about it, they are being very honest about it as well. And uh, there's one person who's purposefully started a series of tutorials only using keyboards and, and a mouse. Because there are, there seems to be on the forums, a, a certain proportion of people who just for whatever reason, will not be using um, a joystick or a controller. I might do s a few short videos myself, uh, showing different features and maybe updates on or what's going on in the beta as it goes on. But, um, I mean, that really does depend on my other commitments that I've made in terms of videos, etc. Um, so far, I'm very happy with the game and I don't regret one extra penny that this beta has cost me. Um, as I said already, I am, I think, I am really looking forward to the release of this game and uh, I think anyone who's uh, an elite fan out there who picks this up will be very pleased with it. Um, whether they hit their, I think it's the 30th year anniversary in September, whether they hit that mark for the release, um, I don't know, it's a possibility, we'll just have to see. That's it from me, so thanks very much for watching.